release everything you have and never look back. You know, never be afraid to be the best. And that's how I am right now. Everything's earned, not given. The moment I realized that I wanted basketball to be my future was my junior year of high school. I started to get better and just tried to hone my game every chance I got. I played on the outside courts. I played almost everywhere and played against anybody. And uh, that's probably why I have the fearless attitude I have. Being born in Australia, I feel like it has versatility to my personality. I had a single parent growing up, which was my father. And he's my father first, but he's also like my big brother and my best friend. We used to be in the backyard playing one-on-one -on -one outside. We used to be out there probably until about 10, 11 at night. My homework still wouldn't be done, but I wanted to beat him uh, as bad as anybody. And uh, I still remember this to this day. He said, Kyrie, if you can beat me in the way you play against me and how hard you play against me and as bad as you want to beat me, you should apply that to everybody else. And, uh, you know, that attitude would stay with me to this day. I felt like my dad was the best player I've ever played against. You know, most of the lessons he instilled in me was just hungry and humble, which just means having the hunger to always try to be better and then just showing humility, uh, you know, always being appreciative of what you have and what you can accomplish. Well, being drafted number one, uh, it was truly a blessing. And then coming to a great city like Cleveland, you know, the fans have really embraced me. You know, everywhere I go or any accomplishment, I bring it back home to Cleveland. I feel like the optimism is definitely back in the city. The thing that will make me the best point guard in the league is consistency and hard work and a lot of wins. I feel like the new hybrid dunk fits my game by the way it looks and feels. Very stylish. I have a, a simplistic style, but I kind of like to be loud a, a few times, and I feel like the hyper dunk, you can come up with some crazy colorways. My goals in life is just to continue to get better every day, become the best man I can be, and uh, reach my full potential in, in life. I just want to win a lot of championships with a great team and be a part of something special. Come on, fellas. You have the better net. Quick caulking at his shoes and DM. They're fresh, though, right? Yeah, where did you Check get them? Check up! The game is my passion. I used to watch all the game's greats, aspiring to be just like them, right down to the shoes on their feet. And I dedicated myself to improve my game every day, whether shooting jumpers in an empty gym or driving the lane in front of thousands of fans. Basketball is who I am and what I do. Like the view of my kicks?
There's such a legacy and history with the Nike brand and the athletes who have had a signature shoe. I used to be one of those kids that were wearing Jordans and Barclays. It's a huge sign of accomplishment to kind of be a part of that heritage, be a part of that history. When I see somebody in my neighborhood wearing my shoe, just knowing where I come from, knowing that I walk those same streets, you know, it takes me back on the journey that, that I took to get here. Every colorway has a story to it. When you put your foot in that shoe, we all are connected in some way. Well, for me, that's the ultimate, to see kids wearing my shoe and then believing that they can perform at a higher level, make them feel invincible. It's a brotherhood here, it's a family here at Nike, and now it's up for us to lay down the path for the next guy, make the legacy continue to grow. I was that kid that was playing hours and hours out in the playground in my shoes until they were worn out. So I had to go to my dad and ask for some more shoes. I asked for Kobe's, LeBron's, KD's. Now that I'm on that list, it comes with a lot of responsibility. You know, I just want to leave my legacy on the court. I'm glad that I can be a, a representation of my generation and the kids that are younger because I want to be that role model they look up to and say, like, this is our shoe. This is not my shoe, this is our shoe. The first unexpected move is the Kyrie effect, a math equation that lets me hit any shot. Carry the one, control all your variables, and your outcome is undeniable. The answer is game. Math. What? Kyrie, while you were on the mend, we had to make a commercial. But don't worry, we studied your game, and we found someone who really matches your skills. I am Kyrie Irving. I have speed from every angle. My handles cannot be handled. I ascend. Swish. What do you think? So, Kyrie, while you were on the mend, we had to make a commercial. But don't worry, we studied your game, and we found someone who really matches your skills. I am Kyrie Irving. I have speed from every angle. My handles cannot be handled. I ascend. Swish. What do you think?
Know yourself. You will succumb in every battle. Oh, cut, cut. I'm not feeling this. Am I too serious? Yeah, I, I don't know, Grunt. You don't like Sun Tzu? We need some music. Now, this is more what I had in mind. This is my world. And this is my shoe. Carry full. Hey, JT, what you think about that? Cool. Rookies. And this, the wardrobe chain. That's my body double. That's the Boston Philharmonic. And this is where it gets ridiculous. Let's see that backwards. How'd you do that? Simple. Plant-based diet. Logo? Now my logo. When was the last time we played, though? Whew, it's been a while. Gotta redeem myself now. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what better place? Uh. <laughs> Body. <laughs> Body. <laughs> Body. <laughs> My mom passed away when I was young. So my dad had to raise my sister and I alone. He was a great player. He even tried out for Boston once. But he sacrificed his dream so I could live mine. Good shot. You remember what you told me? If I could beat you, I could beat anybody. <laughs> He's the reason I wear number 11. And I want to be the reason no one else will. You want to I'll never give up. You know that. These are fire, dog. This is the SpongeBob, Nickelodeon, Nike, Kyrie 5 sneaker pack. Money. You know, it's very expressive, very loud, but also, you know, to the point. Patrick and Spongebob, the yellow and pink, they mesh very well together. They're best friends, they do everything together, but they're literally total opposites. A man on an island by himself, Squidward the musician, really an introvert, but also an extrovert at heart. And we have Sandy, she brings the happiness to the sea. She's the outside thinker. She's a true representation of just being a unique individual. And Mr. Krabs, patent leather red with a one-eyed plankton. Red's my favorite color, so it, it had me right away. They have taken something from that animated world and made it come to life on a shoe. On every shoe, there's there's something special on the tongue. Secret formula, Krabby Patty. This sneaker pack is a lot bigger than obviously just putting out the shoes. It's the connection I have to the youth and passing down some timeless gems. You got it, you got it, good job. I love SpongeBob because he's a hero and who doesn't want to be a hero? And learn from not only your friends, but learn from yourself. He embodies the essence of going out and just being free. I was glued to my TV when the first episode of SpongeBob aired. The connection to SpongeBob and Nickelodeon is still there. This for me is 20 years in the making. The power of 11 has been introduced in my life since I was a kid. It's my dad's favorite number, born 111. Kyrie Irving is 11 letters. Played 11 games at Duke. I was drafted in 2011. I scored my 11,000 point on the 11th. You know, 11 is a path of mastery. It's a master number. I have my preheat coming out on 11-11, which is also singles day. 11 different cities, 11 different aesthetics. It's just a unique purpose that I want to fulfill. This is our Beijing shoe, which is within the graphics is certain temples, different sacred meanings, sacred signs. Just the amount of swag that is going on out in Tokyo. It's a global city that has a lot going on. This was the best take of what LA would be in terms of the beach or the blue water. City of Angels. This is a great representation of why my dad used to bring me from Jersey to New York over that George Washington because he always said people change when they go from Jersey to New York. I've been away from home since I was 16 years old, on my own, really dedicating myself to a craft and I always dreamt of being a net, representing the tri-state area, representing the east coast and now I get a chance to do it at 27 years old and I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you.
the biggest accomplishment that we've had in my shoe line is just evolving with the technology at Nike and it really being specifically made for me. We have the Zoom airbag. I want it to be obviously locked down, but my Zoom airbag has to be functional. You obviously have the 360 traction. It's more dynamic. It's more fitted for my style of play. We added a strap. It's really about the tightness in the grip, feeling like the shoe won't ever come off. They really allow me to be hands-on, to be a creative child here, and implement my own style into my brain. Welcome everyone to West Orange High School in beautiful West Orange, New Jersey. You are now entering into Fundamentals with Kai. We're going to work on the foundation of how you start in the triple threat. This is probably one of the first things I learned in basketball other than the left hand and right hand layup and being able to shoot. You're going to start with your left foot planted base. That way we call this pivot. We're going to work simply on going in a circle as well as working the angles of the top of the key. We're gonna work off this foot, we're gonna hold it, make sure you're holding it tight, and we're gonna just work the jab in each direction. Jab, walk. Oh, you could add a head pick. That's for the pros. You gotta work your way up. The ball placement is just as important as your pivot foot because you have a defender, idealistically, right in front of you. So you wanna have this type of imagination when you're starting to work on your game, especially when you're by yourself. I'll do a live example so you guys can see it. Game speed. And that's the triple threat. And I've watched some players get to isolations different ways. When I work out in the summertime, I'm working by myself is having this imagination and inviting all of these thoughts of what could possibly happen in the game. So we're gonna start at the free throw line. We're gonna catch it. We're gonna make sure that our shoulders are up, our elbows are up, and we're protecting it because there are a lot of nifty defenders that will get in there, they'll get their long arms, 6'11", you know, seven feet wingspan, 6'8", and they're just, they're active with their hands. This is about footwork here. So we're gonna turn, we're gonna turn left, boom, we're gonna jab, jab, and then we're gonna take one dribble, we're gonna spin, we're gonna finish with our left or right hand. All right, so we're gonna show it live, two reps. Oh, that's two. That's okay. The key is that when you're missing shots or you know you're not making shots, it's literally momentum and it's the rhythm. Basketball is a rhythm. So if you don't have the rhythm, your heart, your mind moving at the same time, some of those things are going to miss. So I'm going to take my time, take a breath. I'm going to jab. Maybe late in the game. Hey, hey. So, oh. I may have to switch it to the left hand to make sure that the layup goes in. Like I said, this is about footwork. It's about being creative with your own body. So right now we're going to jump into our pick and roll breakdown. And we're gonna focus primarily on the sideline, uh, which is one of the most effective picking roles. And I'm just gonna explain just some of the nuances of kind of what I'm thinking um, and how you can work on it at home. So we have Coach Elijah Carter here as well, and we're gonna demonstrate. We're gonna run into what we call a step up sideline pick and roll. And the object of this is for the big to set a wide screen, make the defender make a decision to continue to go with Eli to fight over the screen, or he or she may go under the screen and meet you on the other side. So we're gonna teach it right now. Boom, wait, I'm too close to the sideline. Okay, come on E. We're gonna come off with some pace. We're gonna make a move a little bit before the step up. So we're gonna go between cross. We're gonna come off tight. And those are the breakdowns. Isolation, triple threat, and pick and roll. Thanks for partnering with me, guys. Appreciate you. Thank you, guys. 
whatever I create, whatever I'm creating, I want to make sure it is truthful to me. Nike does it second to none in terms of their operations, their technology, their science. We really looked at traction for him. We want to make sure that we give him the right amount of grip where he needs it on the court. At any speed, in any direction, in any angle. They designed this tread pattern, recreating a lot of my movements on the floor. One of the things that we talked to Kyrie a lot about was this idea of creativity and the role that that plays in balance and overall well-being and harmony. There's stitching that goes around in this crescent moon with this eye in the middle centered around the balance that I feel. Something that we're really proud of is just a small detail, which is a call out to Euro sizing. The only sizing in the world that is the same regardless of if you're a kid or an adult, regardless of gender. I'm more or less about the inclusivity of bringing all walks of life together. This was made honestly, it was made from the heart, and it was made as a communication piece that I wouldn't be anything without my community.